Hi friends, this video is from interview.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about validator in Spring MVC and how it works. I have already written an application called Hotel application where I can add Hotel, remove Hotel and edit Hotel. I'm going to add Hotel now and I'm going to validate few fields. For demo purpose, I'm, going, I'm not going to enter name and address. I'm going to enter the other fields so that I want to just reproduce in the server side whether this validation is done or not so I didn't enter name and address I'm going to click this add button immediately at the server side it's going to validate and I'm going to get the error message okay now I will explain you how this error message is prepared in the server side okay let let me press the add button again so that my validator will be called I have already written a, a class called hotel validator and which is implementing the spring frameworks validator okay and whenever you implement validator you have to give two methods validator validate and supports inside this I am receiving an object and errors the concept is I want to validate this object and if there is any attribute is missing or improper I want to push into this errors this is the two fields okay this is the object that I need to validate and if there is any error I need to push into the errors object so that's what I'm doing now so the call hit the controller then it came here and we want to cast it so this is the object hotel object I want to validate and there are two attributes I want to validate that is name and address so I'm checking whether name if it is zero length and if it if, if it is zero I want to reject that value name this is the property file key and this is the default message okay I'm going to tell to the user by giving this address so address also I'm, I'm checking it here if it is zero length now property name property file key if there is no property file I can give them my give my default message error message so I have created two errors in the errors object then when I press F6 in the control I'll check binding result has errors or not if there is any any error I'm not going to proceed to the service layer I'm going to return from the controller itself okay now you can see hotel name field is missing uh, hotel address field is missing so this is the role of validator in spring framework and uh, one more point I want to just show you in the HTML file I have added spring form prefix so whenever there is a an error for a particular attribute so spring will add the errors so this is the prefix I'm using okay so whenever there is an error that we got from the controller it will be displayed here okay hope this video is useful and informative thank you and all the best